Uh, so hi everyone this is a very short video to have an intuitive understanding of why time series has to be stationary and if it is not stationary why do you try to make that time series stationary by applying different transformations so let's get started it is a very intuitive understanding just to give you an idea key uh, why we are like we are putting a lot of efforts while forecasting a time series model to convert first into a stationary model so let's get started so first of all let's understand the idea of dependent and independent data so independent data can be taken as a collection of samples that are independent to each other very easy for example titanic data set household regression in this case the samples present uh, are independent of each other so uh, for example if a person is in a uh, cabin a is male and has an age 26 it has nothing to do with the other passenger that is in cabin b having age 20 earning 20000 makes sense so the samples present in data sets are not in, are independent in nature Dependent data, on the other hand, is something that in which the samples in the data set are dependent on each other. For example, in time series, the current value of the stock uh, can be uh, can be backtraced to yesterday's value, or like yeah, is or is dependent upon previous day's value. So in this case, in case, in problems like time series, the data set is dependent. Now, first of all, now going with an intuitive understanding, when you talk about uh, independence, it makes that you can't make any sense. Or you can't have any pattern for the samples for prediction for example if two numbers are equal you have an idea that their magnitudes would be equal and you can trace back if you have a you can trace back b right but now when you say that two numbers are not equal it means that their magnitude can be anything you just can't trace back b using a this is the whole idea that we're trying to say for example now coming back to the idea of dependence and independence in case of dependent data set we know that uh, if a variable x is dependent on y there can be certain sort of a pattern that we can get y equals to a b x where y equals to a plus b x square y is equal to a plus b x q hence what i'm trying to say is that the scope the pool of values uh, is limited the pool of ideas limited the pool of relationships is limited and hence we can trace back key if we have a given a sequence of uh, multiple points given for a data set and we say key this these values the, the variables are uh, dependent on each other then we can get that particular pattern if we have multiple points coming in but in case of independence you can't trace back the values uh, because all the values are independent there is just no relationship between them and this is the whole idea of stationarity and non-stationarity if your time series is not stationarity it, mean, it means that the variables that we have are independent in nature for uh, when we are making the time series stationarity uh, stationary uh, we know that uh, the data set has a con the data set has a constant mean standard deviation autocorrelation right so this is the relationship that we have now once we say ki the day, the time series is stationary but when we say that the time series is non stationary we just know anything about the distribution right this is the whole idea i'm trying to convey is that uh, we convert time series into a stationary mo uh, and uh, we convert the time series to stationary so that we can have some idea about the relationship between the variables this relationship can be mapped if the time series is not stationary, you just have nothing. There can be no relationship that you can uh, interpret. Like for example, if you say x and y are independent, you really can't make sense of x and y key what their values can be. But when you say x and y are uh, dependent and you give a value for y, then eventually you can have a certain converged pool of values on from which you can pull out x also.